some kinds of difficulties are desirable. We try to make learning easy for people, uh, but it turns out when learning is easy, uh, the mind isn't engaged in ways that make those connections and strengthen them. An example would be uh, trying to solve a problem before being taught the solution. If you probe your mind, you survey, uh, what do I know, what's it similar to, uh, uh, is it this, and you take a stab, you don't get it right, but then you're shown the solution. That, that knowledge seems to fall in there and stick better. Uh, so this effort of trial and error turns out to be a very valid way of learning. It turns out if you practice over and over and over in rapid succession, that kind of practice isn't particularly beneficial. It leans on short-term memory. So it's better to learn the material, practice it a couple times, and then move on to something else and come back to it later when retrieving it is more difficult. Retrieving uh, memories that are difficult, practice that's difficult, causes that knowledge to be reconsolidated to long-term memory, becomes plastic again, the key ideas become more important, the connections are stronger. So spacing out your practice is a powerful way of making learning stick. Another desirable difficulty is to switch between the practice of similar problem types. So all those students were taught the formulas for finding the volume of a spheroid, a wedge, a cone, various solid geometric shapes. One group of students practiced them the way they came in the textbook. The other group of students uh, learned the same formulas, but the problems were thrown at them in random sequence. Those students uh, did something over 50% uh, during practice and didn't feel they were doing very well. Uh, but when they were tested uh, a week later, the students uh, whose practice had been blocked by problem type had gone down from 89% to something over 20% in what they could do. And the others actually had gone from something in the low 50s to the mid 50s. I mean, it stuck, the mixed practice. They, they, they developed that skill of identifying the problem, picking the solution, and applying it successfully, whereas the others didn't have that mental engagement uh, when they were just doing them over and over and over again. It doesn't feel like it's constructive because it's hard, but it's that mental effort which actually uh, helps you become better at identifying the common and the differentiating aspects of each of these different examples and better at applying that knowledge in an unfamiliar setting.